The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, conducted the presidential and national assembly elections and has declared Bola Ahmed Tinubu the president-elect. The declaration has since been rejected by his opponents, Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party and Peter Ubi of the Labour Party, who have vowed to challenge the outcome of the election in court. The failure of INEC to upload election results to the INEC Result Viewing Portal, IREV, in real time using the BVAS are some of the reasons why Mr. OB is challenging the presidential election and the declaration of Bola Tinubu of the All Progressives Congress as the winner of the presidential election. Part of his demands at the election petition tribunal include he wants an order mandating INEC to retrieve the certificate of return issued to Mr. Tinubu and issue a fresh one to him. Alternatively, Mr. Obi is asking the tribunal to make an order cancelling the election and compelling INEC to conduct a fresh election at which Tinubu, Shetima and the APC will not participate. The petitioner specifically alleged that at the time of the elections, Tinubu was not qualified to contest. They also argued that the election was invalid by reason of corrupt practices and non-compliance with the provision of the Electoral Act of 2022. Similarly, the Action Alliance and the Allied People's Movement have equally lodged separate petitions to challenge the outcome of the presidential election. The candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, is expected to file his own petition before midnight of March the 21st, when the deadline will elapse. Section 132, subsection 7 and 8 of the Electoral Act of 2022 stipulates that election petitions must be filed within 21 days after the date of the declaration of results of the elections and the tribunal shall deliver a judgment in writing within 180 days from the date of the filing of the petition. Section 134 of the 2022 Electoral Act provides that a party who intends to challenge the process and outcome of an election can do so on the following grounds. One. A person whose election is questioned was at the time of the election not qualified to contest the election. Two, the election was invalid by reason of corrupt practices and non-compliance with the provisions of this act. And three, the respondent was not duly elected by the majority of the lawful votes cast at the election.